G'day mates and welcome to the final episode of Stellaris Robotic Rampage. Now we are ready to go into the or Orovidox core worlds. We're going to take them down. I reckon we are pretty good. We get fleet power is equivalent, technology level is equivalent, naval capacity is superior. So win or lose, this will be the only war we're going to have with them. We've got a pretty good stockpile of stuff if we do need to rebuild, although to be perfectly honest, this would take us hours to rebuild. It'd be an absolute pain in the ass to rebuild an entire fleet. That's why I'm going to do this one time and one time only. Now, our three major fleets are in the Huff, Hoof, Hoof system over here. Uh, taking a little bit of minor damage because there turned out to be some Prothorian stuff over there. Prothorians have actually made a bit of a comeback. I, uh, oh shit, they've come back again. They keep coming down here though. I fought about... 200 and... is there another one? Yep, I fought about maybe four or five of those fleets. Actually more than that, probably about six or seven of them um, in, in two separate engagements over here. And I've had to blow up a couple more of their worlds, so there is just a few more barren worlds over there. But they're coming back again. These guys appear to not give a shit and try and stop them, so i got no idea why. I think AI needs a bit of a tweak there to perhaps fight the invaders. But anyway, we are not bothering with that. We don't really care about the West. They can do whatever they want over there. Is that another? Nope, that's somebody else. They can do whatever they want on the West. We are here on the East, and we are going to take down the core... Was it Ah, oh, it's a Q. I always thought it was an O. <laughs> the things you learn. It's a Q. A Cra... A Cravidox core worlds. We're going to take them down, and... Uh, oh, we're going to do a battle. I don't know if we're going to take them down. Let's have a look. What do we want? Um, actually, I have no idea. Let's have a look at their systems. I mean, that is a tropical world. Looks like they're probably all going to be tropical worlds. Uh, yeah, okay. So these are, these are a tropical people. I think it would probably do well for us to take as many of these border ones as we can. Maybe they can keep their... Oh, brother, cradle, mother sister apparently has been destroyed that's interesting and sky father <laughs> actually it would be really cool to take these the their home world let them have the rest of it we can just take the home world I'm not particularly bothered with all the rest of it so i reckon if we take eurus here so let's have a look at that clear war i'm gonna want brother mother uh, where are you? I must be missing them. I can't seem to see them. Ah, oh, up here. There's more up here. Again, pretty dodgy design for this menu. Uh, oh, wait, that's abandoned. I see. I can get them to abandon rather than actually cede the planet to me. That's kind of interesting. I want you to cede the planet. Oh, I want brother, mother, cradle, and I think that's all in the Euro system. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, don't want them to abandon it. That's good. That one requires 29% war score. So we may as well pick a little bit. That's annoying. We may as well pick a little bit more. Let's try the Rafik system as well. How do I spell it? Rap Rapprix. I would like you to see me that planet as well and again we have enough how about the Dharanma see me that one um 47 percent is probably good so then we've got essentially this whole chunk out of here and if we beat them once we'll be able to beat them more than that because my understanding is that Fallen Empires never rebuild their fleets. So if we can hold them off here, we will win. Guaranteed. So let's dive on. Did I forget to commit to that? Okay, let's try that all over again. We're going to do that one there. We're going to do the Eurus system. Stupid of me. Very, very stupid of me. And we're going to do the... Uh... The Raprix system, 47%. That's pretty good. We're not going to invite anybody. Actually, is there anyone we can invite? 
No, they do not like us. Okay. Not going to bother inviting anyone, but we are going to confirm our attack. Let's have a quick look up here. Now, there's nothing we want to give our, our vassal. We're going to confirm the attack, and we're going in. This is a war. It's going to be a hell of a war. Uh, not the first upstarts to challenge them. We'll see how long we last. Okay, then. They are xenophiles. They love us. <laughs> not for long. Now, I'm not sure how to do this. What I think we can do is probably... Let's jump into Rafix here and just see if we can lure them to fight on their turf. I'd prefer to fight them on their ground rather than our ground. And it looks like there's not much here. So we're going to have free reign to just wander around and ravage them for a little while. And hopefully we can beat them down. Give me a few seconds though. I'm going to cut off to a quick pause break. Alrighty, I'm back and let's continue. So I think we can ravage this system for a little bit and hopefully they won't come in and attack us. Okay, there we go. That is... Oh, that can't be all they've got. Where's the rest of their fleet? Hmm, not sure yet. Either way, we're going to do some bombarding in here. And hopefully that will draw them out our direction. What I'd actually like to do is send a science ship in to study, see if I can get any of their technology. I think we're unlikely to get much of interest because we're so technologically advanced. But who knows, who knows. <laughs> the hell do they? I have no idea what those things are. Are they my ships bugging out or who knows? Well, it looks like we have um, set them up there. Okay, this appears to be them. Let's have a look at them in battle. What they actually look like their ships. Uh, they're obviously powerful. And our allies are pretty much incapable of taking them down. They are very pathetic and light and monarchy. They pretty much wait for us to do anything. Uh, I'd probably actually be better off integrating my subject. They, I thought they would be kind of cool to have a build themselves up. But, I well, don't no, actually, actually fight. That's not too bad. Yeah, they're losing though. Doesn't appear to be any actual force here that I can attack. It is interesting. I'm going to bring in my space marines with their uh, land armies. Let's go check it out. They have, well, pretty much nothing on this planet at all. There are a couple of defense units, and I thought they would have something a bit stronger. Guarantee revoked. Well, this is anticlimactic. Maybe they've got something more in Eurus. Maybe we'll be able to jump in there. Uh, we haven't gained anything from that either. This is a pretty anticlimactic finish to the game. Anyway, let's... Uh, where are they attacking us? Okay, looks like they're sending off their little drone core things to come and attack us all over the place. We're going to wipe them out though. And we have taken over this planet. Let's have a quick look at it. These are not going to be some happy little avians. They're fanatic xenophiles. They should like us. But that's about it. <laughs> Poor fellas. Um, that's a pretty uninteresting battle so far. Maybe they've got more of it. Ah, there we go. There's their clusters. Okay, they're starting to gather them over here now. I wonder if we just jump in, the whole lot of us, whether we can take them down. Oh, hang on. Looks like they may have engaged us. Here we go, take that down. I would prefer our transport ships weren't stupid enough to actually engage them far out. Okay, looks like all of our transports that didn't land on the planet got wiped out. So, I'd say about half of them, which is terrible. Anyway, doesn't matter. We are going to wipe out their main fleet here. Um, let's slow time down and have a quick look at this one. 
Uh, ooh, they're more powerful than us, apparently. Yeah, they're doing... Oh, they're doing insane damage. They're doing insane damage. Holy shit. I mean, we can do some damage to them, but... Holy damn. Ripping us apart. Uh, no, but we're closing and we're actually starting to do more damage now. They're still ripping us apart. Tachyon Lancers. We have a couple of those, but not too many. Okay, we're getting into our targeted range now. We should be able to rip through them. Okay, we wiped them out. That was pretty easy. Um, I don't know, let's jump into Eurus and see what we can find. Maybe they've got more. Oh yeah, here we go. Ah, uh, no! Okay, well this is an anticlimactic end to the game, I think. Uh, feels good though, taking down a fallen empire. I've only ever fought the ring world ones before, where they tend to have much f fewer number of systems and more concentrated forces. These guys are pretty weak, all things considered. But we are ripping them down. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. What we'll need to do now is... Okay, there's more fleets over there. They're bombarding Rafix. I don't know where they came from. They're probably going to invade us now. Perhaps not. What we'll be better off doing is jumping back once we've killed them. Actually, let's just jump back now. I don't know why they didn't attack us all at once. Perhaps they got a little bit cocky. Are they still dismissive of us? Yes, they are. <laughs> but their fleet power is inferior. We've basically beaten them. Can I... Oh, smashing them. Absolutely smashing them. Good stuff, fellas. Okay, let's jump in now and uh, we'll take this one down here so we can proceed with claiming everything. That's another unfortunate... I wonder if they've patched that, if I can claim planets without having to occupy them. Apparently, they've fixed that, which is good. We're going to smash out this world. And we as well actually send our... Send our Space Marines this way and recruit a couple more of them and you guys can come over here. We may as well actually get you guys just to enter orbit and we'll get you to head down here if you ever get out of these battles. Yeah, it looks like energy weapons, OP. Just the range is incredible. Okay, we'll head in here and bombard this planet. Where is our force? They are on their way. There we go. We need a leader. You can be... Yusuke, you come in as here. And there we go, bombarded down already. Uh, what's that? Army is involved in an invasion. Okay, they... Those bloody Prothorians, it's not going away. They were actually more of a challenge than the Fallen Empire. That is a bit disappointing. I thought this would be a good last boss. Either way, we're going to rip them down. This is going to be very cathartic. Oh yeah, our space marines are way too powerful. Look at that. Three to one almost. Four to one maybe. Ripping through them. For the Emperor. <laughs> Kick ass. We smashed them. And now we are 60%. Let's go up into Eurus. And do some damage there. Uh, what do we got here? Invasion failed. We failed to fend off 
this one, which means they're probably going to colonize it, I suspect. Uh, yep, they're purging them all. <laughs> that's so... Oh, that's terrible. Uh, there we go. The best possible outcome. We've had a victory. They've given up everything. Which means now we've basically destroyed them. They'll never rebuild from this. We'll just take over. And it's all downhill from here. At some point, probably off screen by myself, single player mode from now on. I'm not going to bother recording. This is where I'm going to call the episode. Actually, I'm going to call the entire series here. It's been a an adventure having you guys along. We've gone through bugs. We've gone through teething problems with the mod. But I've gone from the very early days to the pretty stable mod now. It's actually a really good mod now that they've fixed it. Uh, provided you download the patched, repaired version. I forget, I think they call it Playable Robots Fixed on the Steam Workshop. Make sure to get that one rather than the original base one, which is unfortunately broken by all the different patches that have come through. The new fixed one is far superior. Makes a much more enjoyable game. Uh, I'm going to have to go through and take out these Prothorians and probably wipe everyone else out off screen. I will not bother this again, but this is Series 9. We have Robot Rampaged our way through half the galaxy, and we are now the strongest of everyone. These guys, yeah, they couldn't beat us in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Even after losing more than 150 battle power, we are still just equivalent to them. Nobody else can stand against us. So I've been Bill said. This has been the Series 9. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy the content. And if you'd like to see more Stellaris, drop a comment and let me know. I may well throw more up on the channel in the near future. Take care. It's been a pleasure having you guys along with me. See you in the next series.